You know the drill by now, it's your beautiful selves who keep this channel going and this series. Pledge to the Patreon, vote in your favourite anime, get your name read out and so much more, link in the description. <laughs> Super adorable of Usopp not to want to leave the camp on his own without Zoro to go pee. Being nice to Sky Wolves is always a win. <laughs> Weirdest win, I think we'll all agree, of every single episode I've covered, but showing him actually prepping for pee o'clock. <laughs> Honestly, seeing a ghostly type figure fixing their ship, well, it's not something I thought I'd ever see in One Piece, and thus, easy win to dish out. <laughs> Actually take another there, because the fact that they dragged it out for like 60 seconds made me genuinely quite tense. And I myself was focusing my eyes, peering around, to figure it out. Reactions like this is why Usopp remains at the very top of my best reactions in One Piece list. <laughs> to his eternal credit, Zoro went to find out what happened. <laughs> I think the last time I winned it was during Arabasta when a few misters were fighting one another, but I do like it and I do find it realistic when enemies start going at one another. A surprising amount of animation was poured into this brief moment. Okay, two wins. Firstly, that was a shocking moment, no pun intended, as he comes out kicking their asses a little bit. But also, he's one of my favourite voice actors. Griffith from the original Berserk, The Wizard King from Black Clover, Kira from Jojo Part 4, and so much more. Such a unique and awesome looking design on him as a character. <laughs> Mentioned this in the previous video, but it's good how many factors are at play here. Our crew, their adventure for gold, these guys and their aims, and also the group who attacked them. I also mentioned this during the last video, how good they've gotten at doing distance and zooming shots like here. That is seriously weird, making my mind rush 100 miles per hour trying to figure out who or what did that and why. A good point is raised by Usopp. Whoever did this basically made the ship look like it used to prior to the sky repairs. Chopper being adorable and swinging from a rope for some reason. I mean, <laughs> do I even need to explain anything? Chopper making himself vice president of a company Usopp literally made up on the spot. Also, though, I felt they deserved a combined win for being brave, in spite of how much they've both been through here already. The badass music, the visuals, only to have them break the boat because clearly that little thing wouldn't move the giant ship not currently in the water. Mm. I'll literally never get over the cuteness, I'm afraid. That ship has sailed long ago. It's just part of the fabric of this world now. You can't go using my baby chopper like that! So cute though, stupidly adorable! <laughs> you know what genuinely shocks me is how I'm nearly always at the start of the video when an insanely cute chopper moment happens and then her voice actress does something amazing. Happened again! <laughs> That 
was so easily worth two max wins. The music really made it for me, just made it so much more epic. Great animation and reactions throughout, all working together, brilliant. <laughs> Unexpected art style change. <laughs> For clarity, Luffy said, you're always talking about gold, yet you're not coming? Nami replies with it's scary, at least she's being honest, and then we get an hilarious comment from Chopper. I really like how the entire plan has been mapped out on the, well, map. That's really cool. What an amazing touch to add these in right here. It's then also really cool to see the other side of the equation, with the remaining priests standing on duty, ready for anything that comes their way. Good end to the episode 2, as we're essentially shown what we assume will be the final boss too. Changing the map to a more zoomed out one to give us an even greater understanding of everyone's movements and plans. <laughs> I don't know why, but every time Luffy does a silly pick on Zoro for some weird thing, I absolutely love it. It's so random every time. I wonder if she did that because they'd 100% trust it coming from Chopper? Maybe she thought it'd be easier this way if she thinks they may doubt her? Either way, it was so cute. There's that awesome looking animation from a distance again! <laughs> My god, he likes the stick he has! I've got problems! I can't stop giving him wins for the stuff he does! Send help! <laughs> he found his own stick and now he's so happy and feeling so brave! He breaks my heart sometimes, he's still kind of self-conscious sometimes, even with getting so used to being with everyone, and he wants to be more brave in general too. There really is no better example of the prior wins regarding good looking zooming out sequences and shots. That is the shot to reference. Plus they made it look huge, good job! Was oddly pleasant to once again see the going merry at sea. <laughs> Nami humouring him for a moment is an easy quick win. <laughs> So needlessly violent all of a sudden? Wow, okay, so firstly, super easy win. I'm betting the people with the tats were originally from Jaya. That's huge and incredibly clever to write into your story. But also learning more of the history in general. I found it really captivating and it's legit my favourite saga's lore to date. Boom! Nailed it! Got something right whilst writing solo leveling second half too. Felt almost as smart writing that win. So da. Sora no mono ga shiyoku no tame ni karera no kokyo wo ubai totta. And finally, take one for solidifying the reason behind the civil war. It now makes total and complete sense, and again, to me, just shows how great Oda is at writing stories. This makes me like the old man even more. In spite of being a born and bred sky person, even a god among them for a time, he clearly feels they've had a rough go of it and deeply sympathises. The story of the enemy's strange rise to power. In just six years, they managed to basically entirely take over. Likely the last law win, but finding out why they were attacked as soon as they reached the sky, and also why he became the Sky Knight to protect his former soldiers fleeing to other islands. The most definite last bit of law filling in I want to win is for understanding why the people are so scared and happy to dob others in to save their skins. Fear grips the people. Oh, 
It was so good to see the old knight when he was a god. He really looked and was treated the part, but also people seem to have been well aged, such as this lad. <laughs> That was just straight up well animated! How sadly his attempts to broker a peace deal broke apart due to the actions of both sides resulting in a huge melee taking place. A nice transition done there and it also told me via the scene just before it that Wiper is always the source of conflict and has been for years. This scene seriously hyping me up for their much talked about final attack on the priests and their god. Awesome rotating shot the final declaration! <laughs> Not running away from a massive snake on the spot! Her ability is so awesome, I'm so used to seeing arms, I forgot she can do legs! <laughs> One of the best visual representations of poison I've ever seen in anime. <laughs> Shows how carefree Luffy is that Zoro is legit freaked out by the idea of fighting this foe and he's just having a great time. Chopper literally sent the wind so I didn't have to! I haven't a clue if they'll suddenly all meet up five minutes from now, but regardless, Oda gets a win for potentially splitting them up into even tinier little groups. Ooh, seems like he has a plan for everyone down below. Not sure if it'll be a proper game of sorts, but I'm hyped now nonetheless. So good! Meanwhile, these guys and gals are making their way directly to where he is! Can't ignore how much animation was on that scene. That is, for me, the best OP so far. I loved the song, the visuals were great, some nice CGI, brilliant moments touching on each of the crew, the main players as well, really well done. Max wins. Usopp likely annoyed at having to do all of the latest repairs, but also still treating the ship like it's his firstborn son's life. I love how so many episodes into the arc and saga, Oda is still chilling and giving us extra new things to think about during this story. Some bloody cracking good damage animation there. Might not seem it, but all of those pieces were done by hand. That was great. Ah, so that's what the very round dude with the balls was using, was it? Now I just want to know how he was able to predict their moves, but this nicely answers one big question I had. I know I just said what it was, but I do feel smart having said it. I think that's partly the win, but also it's because Oda legit thought of that ahead of time and added it. So good. Sanji cleaning up what's left of the boxes. Really hoping by the end of the arc, we're told how these dials were made, or at least discovered, but have one here for also explaining away some of the other wild things we've seen. A detailed description isn't exactly given of how Mantra works, but there was some level of telling us how it functions, so I can at least win that. Whilst it is a very long chin wag, it does get two wins. Firstly, because he stated four of them are trying to escape, I assume he meant Luffy and his team, and he thus hasn't got an up-to-date information, but also because we find out exactly what their side is planning, which ends up being an all-out offensive against everyone, which is treated as a game of sorts by them. Ah! 
I continued to be the height of impressed with how well animated these guys and gals are. It's bloody brilliantly smooth, sounds real good too, like every time they've nailed it so far. <laughs> Genuinely a totally unexpected plot twist that they'd do something to affect either the body or maybe the devices they're using. <laughs> that may legit be one of my favourite statements a villain has made, especially since in Japanese dubbed anime, they do very often say people's names, although not a ton in this one. <laughs> his survival rate is even lower than the bull dudes! I think his was 5%? Ah, now that is clever. I thought he could just turn off their gizmos, but no, this is way better. Tada. <laughs> this guy might be a bit of a jerk by all accounts, but he's very clever in avoiding the trap they all fell into and trying to silently attack. Also take another, because in my years of writing since, I always hated that people would yell before doing an attack. But here, he remained utterly quiet, but did get caught anyway. Nicely done. <laughs> On top of the, he's a jerk, but a very good warrior win, I gotta speak to that. Dude allowed himself to get hit, to get in close, and did so as a badass. <laughs> <laughs> that was, hear me now, bloody brilliant dude. And we know now that using it risks his own life in the process. <laughs> Easy follow up when to be fair, great smashing into the ground both visually and sound wise, and then his drop to the floor being so cool and graceful looking. <laughs> You might think me a crazy loon for doing this, and I may be proven wrong in the end, but the fact that seemingly he's been taken out of the running already, that's such a twist, it's Max wins. <laughs> you can really hear the Kira from Jojo when he laughs like this, but also I'm worried about his eventual strength that he's this relaxed about two of his four top guys being taken out already. I think it was a nice touch to show that they as a people have revered this bag of dirt for so long because it represents the home that was taken from them. How, even whilst injured, he's able to continue on the fight like this. He's definitely got a ton of grit. Forgive me if I winded it before and forgot, but he voiced, I think his name was Ricardo in ReZero. He was a wolf type guy who helped Subaru with a white whale. Really liked that performance. <laughs> Look how they went all out with animation this episode, even adding it to his earrings swinging back and forth. Speaking of good animation, I wanted to show this long distance shot where they animated everyone leaving. Seriously, top-notch animation to end this episode. In slow-mo, you see the shield break and him lose his weapon, and then the impact hits his body up close. Just a cool-looking moment, I thought, which showed off this guy's power as well. Luffy <laughs> singing a weird song isn't something I knew I ever wanted to hear. Clever way of doing a rotating shot there, moving the static environment around an animated Luffy. <laughs> How Luffy didn't even really need to try to take him out. He was just kind of throwing an obvious punch at the enemy. I don't know which I like more, the brilliant annoyed look on his face or the voice perfectly matching it. He wanted to see a goat. Well, I'm not sure what I'm doing. 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 I'm not sure
Just before this, he says this island belongs to his people, and Luffy replies with this, likely thinking the matter put to bed. <laughs> Grumpy Luffy is such a nice addition. I know he was like it when told off by Nami during the Arlong arc just before helping her, but I love this. He's annoyed as he's trying to sing. <laughs> Two wins, how Luffy can make me laugh so hard like in the last win, and then he's so serious and calm the next, and he instills that confidence in me, oddly enough. Second is how this is anti-anime as I call it, normally there'd be a long chat, but he, true to his character, just wants to take Luffy out for being here full stop, no talking. <laughs> to be honest, this ED went back to being right up my street. I liked the last, but this one, and several before the last, just click with me. I loved the song and visuals, Easy Max 2 wins. How they got the narrator during the recap to become so confused and how they'd all gone in different directions. But also, I liked how Robin went directly there, not getting lost, bless her. I really like how they actually give us the same event from the very end of the last episode, but do it completely differently as a shot. Well, not completely, but a little. <laughs> that contrast between their experiences. <laughs> Zoro being true to his usual cool and calm self by already thinking about how best to tackle these new foes and their ways of fighting. <laughs> That's going back to the start pretty much of the last saga to a move he used back then which could come in handy now. People keep saying to me Oda never forgets. I'm getting that. Oh my word that is so damn sick. He impresses me so much it's unreal to be honest. How he's also so calm in the moment too. to just show that, she also impresses me with her amazing vocal skills to so bring a character like Chopper to life. I legit don't think anyone else could have done injustice. Yet more fine examples of how they've truly nailed the distance shots this saga, every time. Two not running away on the spots. Already they're showing us that this was far from a one-sided slaughter as both sides are taking damage at the least. <laughs> she can often come across to me like the female version of Zoro, cool, calm and collected at seemingly all times. She ignores his warning to turn around and give him an order instead. <laughs> You know, I think over time I've seen powerful enemies become friends and it's like their power is nerfed because they're now the good guys. I'm so happy to say that's 1000% not the case for Robin. Hmm? <laughs> Animating him running all that way when they didn't need to whatsoever, plus Zoro being so calm still. I can really appreciate the angles on this attack too. <laughs> Oh, he won so easily! He really is the best! And he didn't even use his blade, he basically punched him! Zoro is now fighting one of the tougher ones! This is gonna be good! Already the battle is living up to its hype for me by showing Zoro being unable to end it in mere seconds. So very cool, I don't even know what to do with it all. It's becoming an issue. You can't see.
see all of the people extremely well due to the smoke in the first shot, but it still blew me away regardless with all of the distance animation going on. With those shots and the sounds of gunfire going off in the distance, it really makes for an artistic looking moment pre-battle. <laughs> Again, another good looking scene, but this time, it mainly gets the win for his shock at seeing a three sword style. I think one of the best things Oda did this saga was making combat be so different to down below. The dials, the mantras, and how each is used in different ways too, like here. The guy immediately seeing through Zoro's attempted trick to make him stop blinding him during combat. Zoro looking awesome here, I gotta give him his due. Glad this was mentioned, felt more like a gag at the time? Oh, he's thinking about eating an eel, then gets shot. But in reality, he's really angry he let his guard down for a moment. Too confident. As you may have guessed, this gets two max wins. Him dodging the bullets, his confident stance and massive setup, him rushing in for the attack only to go right into his attack range. Amazing. I believe I've said it before, but to me there is no single character in anime that is as consistently cool as Zoro is. He's legit such a great member of the crew to me. Mentioned this a lot in Arabasta during the final battles, glad the same is being done here. The entire focus isn't just on the crew members, it's everyone else fighting too. For the love of God, will someone go and help Chopper? I just thought that was a lovely and sad little comment there from him which brought the doctor back into it in a pretty meaningful way. He wants to one day be able to see him again. Chopper is beautifully animated walking through pretty much the entire scene. <laughs> Luffy already proving to be more than a challenge for a guy like this using weapons like he does. <laughs> I'm giving another for that due to it being anti-anime. He says that won't work on me, so he fires two rounds in quick succession and he does this again. He did tell him. <laughs> oh, that's the easiest two max wins of the entire video hands down. They're meant to be peacefully going along, the battle is far away and suddenly, he's there, attacking them! I'm so shocked! Man, oh man, such a good end to the episode, I absolutely love it. <laughs> Obviously, it goes without saying, Sanji is clearly going to be fine. There's over 1100 episodes as of writing, but it still didn't stop this moment from being quite shocking, no pun intended. <laughs> that reaction, but also the fact that his heart is still beating. <laughs> I always enjoy seeing that, even though he's clearly so scared, he is still standing between them to protect a fallen Sanji. <laughs> this 
this win is purely for the, again, not intended on the pun side of things, shocking level of power he holds, making me wonder who will be able to beat him when he can do this. Good how they make Nami look truly afraid to even utter a single sound in this instance. Letting us know that everyone is pretty much on the same page. We just didn't know it yet, but they're all heading to this location in one way or another. Oddly, I find, to his credit, he's throwing himself into the fray, rather than sitting back and letting them fight it out to get rid of the weak that are left. <laughs> you have got to be kidding me. This freak is back, but this time there's two of him or something? Plot twist? <laughs> My god, how many times has this dude now tried this attack and failed? <laughs> there really was basically no end to the wide range of weapons that could be created via the use of dials up here. It's strange the enemy's reactions are often a good window into the soul. Right here, I got the feeling he's understanding that Luffy is a great foe to be up against. Lots of very cleverly done environmental damage. Between all of the greatness shown in the last win and then them both shouting bazooka like that and all of the wonderful effects, it's two max wins. <laughs> so sick! Both of them still in the fight and now proper angry. Shame they're not on the same side really. In a way, this is anti-anime as well. Just something natural getting in the way of your fight. Not an ally or an enemy or anything like that. Just a big old snake! <laughs> what a complete shock! 50 of these guys sounded like a hell of a lot, and yet look how many he and all his mates together took out in one battle! Damn! Dude is huge! Also though, this huge guy is Goro Majima from the Yakuza games. Dude's an absolute legend with that voice of his. Giant guy can move, baby! It's a somewhat simple attack, but it was the sound effects and the visuals which made it transcend to another level and gave it that high impact they were going for. Ah, okay, well that explains it. They're his brothers. Gan getting better and getting into action and looking cool as heck doing so. Nami deciding to fight whilst her friends have been taken down and I must say, looking cool as heck doing so too. She can take a follow-up win for actually saying what I was referring to in the last win, bless her. Needless to say, it would seem Luffy has ended up somewhere very interesting. Roll Chopper is so blissfully unaware that his enemies are so very, very close to where he is. Just 
had to give him a win for that. I'm feeling insecure. Feels like it'd be wrong to skip over the fact that he keeps getting angry and biting his lips so he can't speak, and sometimes rolling his eyes back so he can't see. Such a weirdo. Can I begin to tell you how much I enjoy lore like this? It's not just a golden city, it's one that fell, and then events which happened afterwards. Not to be outdone, we're then told of a wider lore, one which instead affected the entire world for a period of time. Visually speaking, this is already a hilarious scene, but it's even better the super confused eh from Chopper. <laughs> so good. <laughs> I legit thought he was able to communicate with him via his thoughts or something, but no. He's just forgetting to speak out loud. <laughs> this guy is actually legit hilarious. Plus, his area has got a survival rate of 50%! <laughs> Wanted to show that off and give it a win. Super nice visuals there, all done by hand, of course. Is so impressed, bless his heart. <laughs> so far, this battle is the height of hilarious to me. This guy is freaking great. Also, though, take another because it's yet another priest with another different style of fighting. This guy forms and attacks using clouds. <laughs> Chopper has an amazing soul, really. This guy is his enemy. He's tried to focus the priest towards Chopper half a dozen times, yet he still sees this and wants to help him. <laughs> this is even better. I thought they'd do it so Chopper cannot help him since he's under attack. Oh well, I thought, but no, he still makes his way over there to aid him. <laughs> <sighs> Wins all around, really? Chopper's so happy to have helped, and he's legit happy he did help. I thought he'd wake up and attack, but no. <laughs> the winds continued to flood in. Once more, I was wrong. I figured he'd run. Maybe he continued to help the priest, but no, he vows to never serve them again. I keep being wrong, but loving it. <laughs> Obviously, it's a shame he's taken out, but this win is actually for the stunningly large amount of effects that went into the damage to the rubble there. Oh, that was so close, and I'm so glad he's been taking these balls too. Saw that he was making them during the filler episode, so we know he's got plenty of them too. I've been saying this for ages, but his style of fighting is amazing to me because here he changes his size in order to quickly make him weigh more and thus allow him to dodge. Love it! I don't even care, it's literally another win right away as he uses yet another form to quickly avoid damage. He truly is so awesome. I totally forgot he could do this one too! Thank god he quickly switched to his guard before the impact! I literally feel nervous right now! Sadly we're unable to see Robin do her thing because she's so worried about all of the priceless tablets being destroyed during his attacks, wiping out history each time! Oh. 
Even whilst being knocked about, Chopper is still in the fight and looking for a weak spot. I thought they did a real solid job here of making him look super unsteady on his feet from multiple different angles. I'm already winning this, for before anything else happens, seeing that flag again was such a pleasant but powerful message from his past, and I loved the equally powerful wording. Ah, that's what he was doing! I was wondering, has it seemed so random to grab his shoe? <laughs> There's some real character growth in there if you consider that he's comfortable to refer to himself now as a monster in order to psych himself up to fight. <laughs> Chopper going all, all for one with the giant arm and then launching a brand new attack. God, I love this anime. <laughs> oh, that nearly brought a tear to my eye. Such beautiful voice acting. He's so proud of himself and it really felt like he moved his character forwards by finding the courage there. was so funny. Easily deserved its own win for his panic. So easy to give one for this too. He did win the battle, he declared it, but it wasn't until this that I knew it was confirmed. He won. I'm so shocked. about unexpected events, she's cruising along, it breaks down and now something is trying to eat her and all out of absolutely nowhere. Oda really juggling stories this saga, I love it. <laughs> they arrive in this cool ass boat and some nice semi-rotating shots on both of them as they do so too. <laughs> Might sound odd, but it's like an olive branch was given here, and potentially may be one of the first steps towards peace in this area. I like the vibe of that. This quite sad way of letting us know that there are a lot of people losing their lives in this raging battle. Darth Weirdo, Fiji, Nick Wyndham, The Element Taylor Wars, Christopher Willis, Emmanuel Gonzalez, Fancy Turtle, Keban, Mini Masha, Marquez, Nozomi, Orkeeper, Otar Bandanisi, Steelers, The Epic Commander, Bird Without a Word, Brandon Creer, Brian Bayard, Cameron, Christian Tavasa, Commander Cyrus, David May Olmos, Doggos for Life, Dragonstorm 35, Aaron Winters, Guru Guru, James Tafoya, Jor Edvinson, Kevin Halston, Comfroik, Kylie Welp, Luis Benito, Mr. Mansu, Knightly Winter, Peter Milligan, Ruby Rose, Satoko Yari, Zionx 44, Sean, Starkip, The 100s, Tiger Lily Warrior, A Joker, Alexander Schwartz, Ali 50, Amadillo, Brainless Ben, Cecilia, Cedric, Cloud Garden, Dante Soul, Dante's Face, Dark Lord Bloody Soul, Devon, Dragon Defender, Iso, Francie, Garrett Vermeesh, Gibbs, Hoved Lowe's Ritter, Hunter Miranda, Izel Caldera, Jason Davies, John John, Jaffa6263, Kai Wolfspring, Kelnock, Kevin Nelter, Kevin 102, Knuckle Duster, Kai158, Kyle Jones, Laxor, Laxis, Liam Gugatti, Lifty, Lionel Schultz, Marvin, Matthew Blancet, Michael Lewis, Motiviram, Mudini, Mr. Fire Cool, Nathaniel Gregamosa, Natsu Dragneel, Nick Monaco, Nick Pell, Nuvagaum, 1928, Ollie the Mighty, Oliver Smiley Reacts, Oscar I. Lopez, Owen Haloran, Q Flash, Chris Harris, Ryan Deveris, Psychomi Aorum, Sarcastic Truth, Snowy, Stan, Storm 970, TRS, Thrasher 340, Will Sass, Willyman, 